Holy Spirit of God, united by the living word. Brethren from every part of the world participate in the same service jointly in the same body and in the same spirit through the system of transmission the members of the Maranatha Christian Church of the entire planet leave a moment of unity and fellowship as the Hebrews leave and then departed from Egypt and the disciples with the Lord Jesus just before his death on the cross of Calvary People from every part of the world have been reached by the eternal gospel and by the message of the soon return of the Lord Jesus. Our brethren, peace of the Lord, we are beginning another transmission of the Sunday School from the Central of Communication, the borough of the Taparica in Vila Velha, in the state of Espírito Santo, Brazil. And on this last Sunday School of the year, we have a great joy to receive as a guest for the preparation of the Sunday School and also to participate with us here on the studios. Is a group that is here on the out, outer part is the family members of the workers of the Radio Manai and also of the system of transmission via satellite and it's a great joy for us this last Sunday school of the year we have a group that is on the external area we have you know, small children participating with us on this Sunday school uh, I need to uh, offer a few announcements beginning by abroad there was a special service and uh, the police department in Milford, Massachusetts, United States. We have a photo of the external area because the Department of Police doesn't have, uh, it's not usual for, for them to receive services. It's actually is forbidden to photograph the internal part, but it was a landmark not only for the work of the Holy Spirit, uh, for Maranatha, but for the, and for the, and for the gospel that happened in Massachusetts in the United States. Also, there was a baptism and a seminar in baptism happened in Mantovani, Italy. And the same day that was, uh, it took place, there's a small photo here, there was an Italian brother that was baptized in Brazil in the same day as the baptism in Italy. There was uh, uh, somebody that was appointed to deacon. It was a Basque country in Italy. It is in the border, border with France. And also, uh, there was a baptism in Paris, in France. It was this morning, actually, happened because of the time zone. We're already transmitting to the brethren. In Lisbon, there was a supper of the Lord in the manner you know, Lisbon, with the pastors and the ushers there in Lisbon, glorifying for the many blessings of this year, especially the acquisition of the manna in, uh, in that region. And also in Africa, there was an evangelization of the port of Nakal in Mozambique in the African continent. There were a few events that happened uh, abroad. And now, a few events in Brazil, there was a uh, service of graduation in many brethren in Manaus, in state of Amazon, and uh, appointment of three deacons in Ponta Nova Minas Gerais, and also a vigil in the post of the Mata in Bahia. And there were many suppers that took place in Brazil, uh, above all with pastors, deacons, uh, this last year, at the end of the year in Manaus, in the state of Amazonas, in Brazil, also with pastors anointed and deacons in Guasuí, in the state of Espírito Santo, and also in Marabá, no Pará, 
Tasso Giduchi, he transmitted a, a special award for the brethren there. And also with the brethren from the uh, from Saudara and his spirit sons, the pastors and anointed and Kontune, Manatha Christian Church in uh, in Rodoviari in Vitoria. Pastors gathered in Vila Velha in Manain of Jaburuna. Pastors anointed in Aracaju, in the state of Sergipe. Now some go Governador Valadares, state of Minas Gerais in Brazil. Deacons and families in Victory in region in Camburi and so San Mateus, Espírito Santo. Pastors and family members. Vitoria of Conquista in the state of Bahia. And also in Macapá, or Ma Amapá, in Brazil. Pastors and ushers and then families in that location. Also, there was a consecration of a Marathi Christian church in Pastos de Minas, in Minas Gerais, a beautiful church, ample and full, as can, the brethren can see. Consecration of the church Marathi Pegang in, in here in Cariacica, Espírito Santo, and also the church of Vazia Grande in Mato Grosso, celebrated 10 years, and it was a special service of qualification for this anniversary and project learner graduation the end of this year Karasika Espiritu Santo this is in, in a tribe indigenous tribe in in, in Bahia there are instrumentalists graduating as players and I Vela Valley Espiritu Santo the theater Boa Vista with a group that represent the brand there they are participating and and that were in the area of uh, language sign sign language there was a, an event and and a supper with the t study students for sign language and also there was an evangelization with the employees of a school there was a request from the school so that these employees could participate on a special service in the church perform this service there was a great witnessing witness of these people that have been visited and Buriti, Maranhão, there was an area of events, there was an evangelistic service in Sobradinho, um, the capital of the Brazil, there was an evangelization, Lagoa Danta, and on Rio Grande do Norte, about 100 kilometers from Natal, there was an evangelistic service with the service at night, in Salvador Bahia, service on, on the headquarter of the firefighters, the brethren were received there for the performance of the service. There were many baptisms that took place also in Marabá, Pará, baptism, Ponte Nova, Minas Gerais, in Guaratinguetá, São Paulo, here in Cariacica, State of Espírito Santo, Pontal do Araguaia, in Mato Grosso, Ilhéus, Bahia, in the Serra do Espírito Santo, Ariquemes, in the State of Rondônia, all this in Brazil, in Porto Seguro, in Bahia, no Prado, also in Bahia, in also in the city of Itamaraju, in the south of Bahia. Boa Vista Roraima, in this baptism, besides the Brazilians that were baptized, also they baptized uh, three Venezuelans and an indigenous that came down to the waters in this baptism in Boa Vista, state of Roraima. And Ipatiba, Espírito Santo, that was also baptized, baptism, and Rio Grande, state of, state of Rio Grande do Sul, and Joinville, Santa Catarina, city of Queimados, Rio de Janeiro, in Teresina, the state of Piauí, and Volta Redonda, with the brethren from Volta Redonda in Rio de Janeiro, Barra do Piraí. And other pictures that, have, that were sent are going to be shared with the brethren in the coming Sunday School and throughout this week published on the side of Radio Marain. And now Pastor Gilson is going to give sequence to the topic of Sunday School. Amen, my brother. We are going to now give the instruction so that the children, and adolescents, may go to their own classes to study the Word of God. Naturally, the brethren can also use the criteria of sending with them a deacon to for their, so that he can pray for them as they begin the, the study this morning in these churches. And now, soon after, we are going to relate to the brethren the questions related to the topic that we are going to approach today in our last in the school of this year, the 2019. And this topic is going to be a topic that we are going to begin with a, with an introductory word for, with Pastor Zeduti, and the brethren can already leave their Bibles open and look chapter 14, where we are going to dare uh, 
speak about the topic and learn lots from the part of the Lord for honor and glory of the name of the Lord in the Sunday school. My brethren, peace of the Lord. When we we have already mentioned that our lesson is cool, thanking the Lord for the results, for the um, effort of the brethren, and we want to thank the brethren that have participated with us, sending their contributions. I want to say to many of the ones who have sent the, their contributions that many topics that have been approached here have been motivated by those contributions. They have been valuable, and this for us means that what we understand as the body we are learning, we are retransmitting the, the new things, or the things that the Holy Spirit has for us in the way of living, testifying, and the way we act. And just to begin you here, I want to say the beginning, the, the following. Vigil, there is going to be a vigil from 31st to the 1st, without exception. If the pastor is afraid, is anxious, don't go send a deacon, but the church will be open at that time at 11 o'clock. There was a message going to be transmitted via satellite. If the pastor is afraid, that's all right. Nobody's going to leave home on that day. We have situations where, where the pastor, the pastor that are letting people go so that they can watch the, the burn of the fireworks on the beach. That's not right. Nobody's afraid. People that is afraid inside of the home, these people don't have the work of the Holy Spirit wants them to have. What is important for us is that we need to be prepared. If you're afraid, put bend your knee. We have 48 hours to pray still. And if you're really afraid, then you fast fast for 48 hours, and nothing will happen to you on the New Year's vigil. There is no. This is not a uh, justification. It is interesting that the Lord has shown to us that, in fact, there is an interest to go de deviate the whole world, the whole world, they are, they are on the streets, they are, they are fi burning fireworks, and I want to say the following, the pastor is afraid, send their, their members to the Baptist Church, the Presbyterian Church, the other churches are going to have vigil there in their church, send our people there. Well, we're not going to serve at 8, 9, or 10. The service of vigil once a year. Uh, people there don't have the means to testify and to live according to the Word. The Word says, I don't ask you to take you from the world, but deliver from evil. We are people. We are speaking 24 hours before the, of the countries in Oceania because when it's midnight there, Here's already a new day there, so we need to say this ahead of time. So the satellite is going to work 10 minutes before 11 o'clock. There was going to be a word for all the brethren, possibly in this beginning. 10 minutes, a word for the entire church. Instruction on what is necessary. We are going to finish the, the year kneeling down so that we can begin kneeling down. We're not going to end the year having conversation. Oh, tonight we're going to have a uh, dinner. You can have dinner another day. Go to the house of uh, your mother-in-law because on the first you you want to give uh, ask your mother-in-law to work and cook for you. Uh, the church needs to know this. If somebody's afraid, don't go to church, but the church are going to be open. Go with the deacon, go with the sister, but the church are going to be open. 10.30, the people will arrive. The, vis the guests, the visitors, the relatives that want to spend the night there. If they want to have an experience with the Lord, and we have an experience this year to show. We made an evangelization that many were not aware of. 
even inside of the church they didn't, were not aware but for sure this will be adjusted on the life of each one because each one will give account of themselves to the Lord if they're not <laughs> going to give to God they're going to give it to the presbytery because the presbytery has reason to ask of you because there, we know that there is a ministry that is responsible for the group of brethren they are uh, humble they are not worried about fireworks or music uh, bands and that will not be they are worried about the Holy Spirit and this is not going to be prevented and our mission to say that the work is going to continue is not in the head of people but in of people that think about it but it's going to continue in the way that it needs to continue we are willing on this journey and of course in the evidence even on the instructions so midnight 1205 it's over it cannot go beyond this but if it goes beyond this then the problem is of the pastor or of the Asha deacon and instruct people to go back to their homes to be careful the care, care that is necessary and not to be uh, sitting in their car having conversation or, or if you take a, 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 a guest and uh, someone that they never saw and give a ride to them, you're not supposed to do this. The government is important. If you see the failure is because it is in the government. The church, the people, is not making mistakes. The one who is failing is the one who has responsibility, whether it's the deacon, pastor, whoever that person might be, maybe the pres president of the presbytery, whatever that person might be. Indep independent position, we have uh, a responsibility with the ministry, and the ministry is of the Holy Spirit, and we are not going to allow anybody to interfere on this ministry of the Holy Spirit. We know that there are people that are important, we understand. They have special responsibilities in their private life, many are uh, police officers or some are lawyers, that doesn't work for us. What matters is the work of the Holy Spirit, the instruction from the Lord is the grace of the Lord upon the people, the blessing of the Lord wants to give to the people. We are going to spend the new year on Bendani, thanking the Lord for this year and beginning the new year. That's what is important. No one knows what uh, awaits us in the new year, so it is determined that a vigil in everywhere in Brazil and in the world who doesn't want to answer this instruction, no problem. You can send this bread to other church because they know where they are going to. <coughs> the mass of vigil is for the pastor of the church. He is the one. It is being prepared. I don't know if it was already on the website. A few things are going to be corrected there. So if by any chance the pastor is not there, it's not the auxiliary pastor. Uh, this road doesn't exist, auxiliary pastor, we know that it's not working, so auxiliary pastor is going to be sitting down also watching the message from satellite. <laughs> if it is the auxiliary, is because he's sick, is or or maybe he doesn't have the means to be a pastor, or so that he needs to learn to become a pastor. So the road, this story doesn't exist, auxiliary pastor, so it is being determined. If the pastor is not present, so then turn on this satellite. Do not put a substitute. And there are deacons there. Uh, they have the ability to do this. They are anointed. They are, uh, they are ready for this. But on this passing of the year, it is the pastor or what the Lord wants for the entire work of the Holy Spirit. And the benefits are exactly in this unity, on this same message. Nobody needs to be looking for the Bible to find a topic. Everybody likes to know how to preach everything, but they, they don't leave it. But the pulpit is not for for exhibition. Uh, the pulpit is to deliver a message for the ones who are afflicted, in need, for a church that needs to glorify, that needs to understand everything that they need to seek, to pray, to live, and that's what it is. The vows of the new year. To renew the vows, many, a few need urgently. And we have the situations here of a, a few brethren that have not produced anything. 
not even with the instruction of the Lord. Two months, prepare, prepare, nothing, nothing. This cannot continue. Now it's necessary to spend this end of the year. Even we have here a transmission. Was it today? No, it was yesterday, right? The transmission well, was yesterday. We are going to have another day. What day? On the 4th. We're going to have, uh, oh, uh, on the TV channel in Brazil, uh, on, on the 4th of January, of, on the 2.30 afternoon, uh, the, bad, the pastors that didn't have the opportunity to, do, to show their, their church the instruction of the Lord, we've been preparing for two months for, to give the shout. The shout was given. And now we are concerned with this. They are going to retransmit the shout on the 4th. Write it down. If you have great zeal for the kingdom of the Lord, now write it. Write this down. Here it is. On the January 4th at, at 2.30 p.m. Take the, the advantage to invite your relatives, especially relatives, to watch on TV in Brazil. Uh, if the church didn't invite, so then the government of the church was responsible for it. The pastor has the government of the church. If the pastor has government, then they allow other people to determine it, then the government is extinguishes. So take control of your government and take advantage of this opportunity. In other areas, in region and area also. It, now it's going to be through another TV channel. It was yes, but it's going to have another day. Okay, very well. So now let's send us the report of this and of the previous event. That's why we don't have today a statistic to give the, to the brethren since we have been waiting for a recovery of few churches or mini and ministries that didn't fulfill the determinations on that day of the shout and trumpets. Now they have been conclaimed to fulfill this objective. We don't have other things to, to do other than this. Today, at this, at this end of the year, we have a message. This message has been drawn from the Word of God. This verse does not match the other one. That, that doesn't, this biblical study of concordance, biblical concordance, everybody knows about that. The Bible has, uh, is on the computer, everybody has access to this. The Word of the Lord has two main ways for you to, point of views, for you to look at it and understand. You, you have the history of the Bible, there are archaeologic signs, the ethics, morals. The Bible has a series of wonderful things. You can create many religions based on the Bible. You can create a new religion based on the Bible. And this is the letter for us. And we are beginning to enter into what is most important in the world, which is the revelation. Without letting go of history, because now we need the prophetic, because the prophetic is what answers to our need, to need, the need of each one. So now pay attention. Jesus told a parable 2,000 years ago. So what matters? What is the big deal? Oh, I was not there. So, oh, but the Pharisees, oh, just wait a minute. You're worried about them? I'm worried about myself. You need to be worried about yourself, your, your position today before the word of the Lord. Uh, the, the word says yes to today and eternally, right? The project is for today, it's not for the past. Oh, because the Pharisees, look, if there was a good people, was that one? They killed Jesus in order to save us. <laughs> so no, let go of this. We have nothing to do with the other people's religion. Today, today we need to understand that the responsibility is ours. If we don't, we don't understand this, and everyone will give account according to this responsibility. Don't judge yourself important. That's the greatest problem. The people that think that they are above the Lord, above the Word, above the Revelation. 
So they have a position. They some give ten thousand, uh, earn ten thousand dollars, or the three thousand dollars. It is important. We have been, been having difficulty with people like this that don't give a word to the ministry in detriment of uh, a job of any other things that they might have, because a job for for me is related to we're making relative something that is God's and eternity. Other projects have nothing to do with. The, the job here or the importance of, of anyone here we're not going to change any of this the one who changes is the government of the Holy Spirit the church is the body of Christ as we shouted on the 24th was not a person was a people was a nation was a group that remained kneeling down praying to the Lord preparing all things this is not a game here that we're going to repeat every day because it's a, a, a new fact and it's difficult to to be achieved. Here, the topic today is a topic that is very ample and we are, we are going to deal with it as much as it needs to in its details, but we want to say the following. The text that the the pastor has already determined is not here, but he's going to enter here now. It's in Luke, chapter 14, verse fi from 15 to 24. The brethren will open up a text. They, unders they understood a few things that are here in the text. So let's go to the history. It's historical. Okay, so historical is a parable that Jesus said. So the text is is related to what is called the context. So what is the context? The context is what precedes the text or uh, or is after the text that gives that text its meaning. So we, so we centralize the message on the text. And the context is the way in which the message will devo uh, evolved, evolve. So we are here in this meeting with the brethren in satellite. Now we have this person and that person. And actually, in fact, we have many, uh, all of our uh, uh, radio uh, speakers, they are all here. They are looking at me and saying, hey, this man doesn't understand anything about uh, public speaking. And they are right. But I, I want to relate uh, afterwards I'm going to relate this for them to do but I want to speak about this location the other things we're going to speak about later here so the concerts here here everybody's here we have breakfast and it's all natural so now that we are met uh, we are gathered now we are going to go what to what is important this is the text so the historical is in the context. So the context I spoke about the moment in which Jesus was in a dinner. He had been invited for this for this dinner. Who invited? Who invited him was a Pharisee that was from the religion of the Judaism. And they invited Jesus because they wanted to to hear Jesus. Because Jesus was a uh, a character that they thought that went against uh, the teachings of the law and was a controversial person that didn't keep this Sabbath and made perform miracles on Sabbath so they wanted Jesus to keep Sabbath and Jesus sh has shown clearly that uh, had nothing to do with this that his ministry is, uh, of the work of the Holy Spirit is not of a law it was a grace so see the context that you're going to see. He was in a dean in the house of the Pharisees, and he says it was a Sabbath. It was a Sabbath. So uh, was the, the sun was coming down. It was an afternoon. And this dinner was the last one that would happen on the day. And he was invited on this dinner. It was a night. Uh, what about this night? What the night has to do with us? It has. Because now the text is speaking about a man a certain man that invited many for a dinner for us 
for us up. And now that's what he's mentioning here. And now we're going to the questions and see, my brethren. This is the text and the context. We're not going to come to the end of the parable because, in fact, this is a topic that we're not even going to touch on. Because when the excuses, when they, the good ones were invited, they began to come up with excuses. The excuses are going to leave it for this coming Sunday. We're going to allow the brethren to waiting for them to change their lives, that they're going to understand what is ministry and the work of the Holy Spirit. They're going to recover themselves so that the excuses are coherent with the call is that they, they re have received that they didn't answer to and that they needed to answer to. So we're going to see this is an opportunity, the opportunity for all. So, let, so now let's continue. See my brethren. Someone was in their midst. There was a table and there was someone. And who was this person? And he says, Blessed are the ones who eat in the kingdom. Was this what was what was the Pharisees eating? So the kingdom, Jesus is saying, see, you're eating there. Feast and celebration is the first thirty first, we're going to eat. As is a uh, turkey and chocolate, we're going to eat it all. And that is that the celebration? The bread of the kingdom is another one, the one that we ate and we are eating right now, which is part, takes is related to the life. So when we speak about this bread, this food, we're going to speak about the anionius, a Hebrew word. When we are related to this, or kinius, it refers to God, Jesus, and Holy Spirit. So, so the operations, God's operations, the manifestations of uh, their manifestation. So in Kyrgyz, on the Greek. So my brother, if we analyze in the Greek, uh, each expression, we're going to spend the entire day here talking about this. But I want to live with the brethren here uh, two minutes so the Pastor Jesus can finish it off. Do you think that there is time for the questions? So let's go for the questions here. But we're going to continue because there is a lot of things to say this coming Sunday. I would like to invite the brethren who can. They're going to escape from the the vigil servers. Hey, my, my brethren, we have a couple of questions. We're going to just introduce a few to so that we keep, won't take too much of your time and suggest the message for tonight for the brethren to preach on the church. Firstly, we're going to go to the first questions just to open up the topic. Reading the text on the Gospel of Luke, chapter 14, for 15 to 24, identified prophetically to whom is referred, referred the expression a certain man. Identified prophetically to whom it is referred the expression a certain man. So the brethren can look on the parable, throughout the parable, and they will find quickly this expression to a certain man. To whom does this expression is being referred to? A certain man uh, uh, that offer a great supper of the Lord to many. Uh, a great supper to many, actually. If anyone has already had an offer, uh, an answer, I'm going to facilitate to the bread here on uh, on the church. So the verse says, Now when one of those who sat at the table would with him, oh, then he said to him, a certain man gave a great supper and invited many. So later on, the brethren are going to find a, an expression more appropriate to identify. We're going to have now an answer. My name is John Vitor, Pastor Marcelo from the Church of Mobidic. A certain man that is referred to is the God the Father. A certain man is referred to God the Father, and later on, the brethren are going to find the expression, the head of the household, referring specifically to this certain man. We had here the answer from a brother regarding this answer. So it is identified here on the expression, a certain man, head of the household, which is the reference to God the Father. So now we're going to go to another question, see if we have enough time to do our next question. On the previous text, to the 
uh, quote that was mentioned, this just speaks about the one to, want to sit on the first spot. What is the objective of this teaching when Jesus criticized the religious that wanted to sit on the first spot? So the brethren can observe here uh, before in a few verses, the brethren are going to find this passage of the religious that wanted to sit. You speak about the ones who want to sit on the first places there. But the brethren can observe there. What was the objective of this teaching? So then we have a quick explanation for this of this part of the subject. Pastor Dedeci is going to relate to the brethren to help out the brethren with the answer. Where well, my brethren? The word servant on the text there. In the original is dolos in Greek. Dolos is the one who serves willingly. It is not a person that placed himself in the first place. It's not the person that is, is the highlight in the gospel. It's not that person that is the that is a highlight in the pulpit, and is the person that is uh, appearing in their appearance, or a person that stands out in the culture or in the job that they have. The highlights is dolos, the servant, the one who serves by love, the ones that give themselves away to the Lord. And I was speaking to the brethren, we're going to find in the biblical history, in the Psalms and Acts of the Apostles, the text that says, they pierced my ears. At the time, the slave, when they left slavery, they fulfilled that time of slavery. They could simply go away. They would receive uh, the letter of freedom. But when they became uh, friends with their owner, they would go back to their owners and would say, now I want to serve you. I always want to live with you. Now it's I, the, the one who wants to thank you for the time in which you took care of me, of my family. You, I was blessed in this place, and now I want to. You can pierce my ear. They used the sovelo, or, or they would pierce the ear. And they, it was a, a covenant of blood. And now, freely, I'm serving you. And when he speaks about the servant there, he is speaking about dolos. He's not not to be your servant, or servant of an institution, or servant of your family. No, servant of Jesus, servant of the Lord, the one who is willing and ready to obey freely to the Lord. I was speaking with the brethren here in the area of communication. There are speakers and pastors there radio personalities and they are in satellite. I was speaking to their families of their work. They have no time, they have no day, they are not tired. And for as long as there is something to be done, they are doing it. They are they are, they receive wages, of course. If they have the ability to get better salaries, of course that they might have. But they all serve the Lord Dolos for the love of the cause. And many came here and are here for love of this cause. And for them and with them, we want to live in fellowship. And this work of the Holy Spirit it goes forward with dolos, with servant. In the first place is, first, per, first place is for the people that want to show themselves up. The pastors that don't want to lower themselves to answer what is the determination of the Lord, and that's why we see the results. These are the ones who are out there. There is drought on the field, and the correspondents all the time coming and showing about the difficulties that are happening on churches and locations. There are not many, but it was supposed to be none. Since they are servants, that one day came to the pulpit to say that they believed in this work and to say that they had experience with the work of the Holy Spirit, 
and to say that they were available to this work of the Holy Spirit, and now they pushed the Spirit, Holy Spirit aside, and now they are just having conversation in the church. They want to change the uh, hours of services. Here, this is not the work that the Lord wants for our lives. The time will come, but what they want to, what dollars, the ones who are servant, go and do this. You know, you are going to have to go after the lame, the blind, the crippled. Uh, the, what you also are, because what you were at once. You see what it is in the spiritual life. There is no ministry, there is no work, nothing else exists. Uh, there is only religion. Uh, all religions is good. You even advise you to find a good religion. But the work of the Holy Spirit, it needs to be determined, and we are determined. Uh, there's a people, 90%, 99% of a people is, re is ready, especially the sheep. A few have suffered, but all uh, at God's feet. And this is the word regarding this small topic that came up. Pastor Jules, is this the end? We can have more questions. A few or just one last question. So the objective here. So let's go to the answer here. Pastor Duchi made a comment. So the Lord Jesus wants to say regarding the kingdom of God because he was there speaking about the kingdom of God, taking advantage of the context in which he was living at that moment in which he was invited to sit down at the table and to eat the bread bread that was not a broad bread from heaven. He wanted to lead us to understand the difference that is between eating the bread that perish and eating the bread that comes from heaven. Blessed is the one who eats the bread that comes from heaven. So this word is very deep because it speaks about what happened, that feast, the most worthy and the least worthy. The place of the least worthy is the place where Jesus is. He is the one to take us from the place of the least worthy to the best place where we sit at the table with him. Just to facilitate here a little bit. So the next question is about the following. What is related to the servant who had been sent by the head of the household? This question is a little easier for the brand to identify. What is referred to prophetically the servant in the word, the one, the word that was brought to the bread? We know that the Lord takes count on the servants as well as his counts on the this church of pastor deacons and brothers and sisters. They are all servants, but there's a servants by excellence. So the word prophetically is the one who invites and the one who convinces the guests to to in, to join the feast. So let's go to the verse. To whom is referred prophetically the servant that was sent by the head of the household. So the verse 21, the text says the following. He sent his servant, observe the bread. He sent his servant, it's not one servant, but the servant, the text says. So, so return to the servants. He proclaimed this thing to his master and the head of the household. Uh, a rage said to his servant, go out quickly into the streets and lanes of the city and bring in here the poor and the maimed and the lame and the blind. So this is the Holy Spirit, which is a service by excellence the Lord uses. So today, through the bread to the church, for, by the service conducted by the Holy Spirit, to bring the invitation, and the Holy Spirit convinces the guest to participate, to, uh, to join the banquet. Many will be called, but few are going to be chosen. Amen. Now we're going to relate to the bread. We're coming to the end. The, our suggestion for the message for tonight, which is in the verses 14, from 15 to 17, between verses 15 to 17, the word says, Now, when one of those who sat at the table with him heard these things, he said to him, Blessed is he who shall eat bread in the kingdom of God. So let's go back here. Now, when one of those who sat at the table with him heard these things, he said to him, Blessed is who shall eat bread in the kingdom of God. Then he said to him, A certain man gave a great supper and invited many, and said or to all, there is a transition said to all, 
and said his servant come at uh, the moment the table he is sent to his servant come because everything is prepared this is the message is very deep because it speaks about the blessing of eating the bread in the kingdom of God so what is this bread in the kingdom of God what is this blessing and here the Lord Jesus speaks about a certain man he's referring to the father when the father gave uh, for a big supper it was it was not a small supper it was a great supper when Jesus was sitting at the table, it was a small supper for this life here, but he proclaims a great supper, which is a supper for the eternal life, and he invited many. Why? Because that supper here on the text, the context, was a supper that had guests that had been invited individually. There was a, a few chosen guests, but the great supper, all are invited for this supper, and the Lord has invited many or invited all. Because the gospel of Jesus made, does not choose a person of another. That supper made a, uh, chose a person of another. It was a, a supper of religious people. But the gospel of Jesus, the kingdom of God, that makes no, does not choose a person over another, but invited many or invited everyone. So the brethren can take advantage of this as a suggestion for the service tonight that the Lord surely is going to operate great salvation. So now, can we come to the end? Do you have any word? Or oh, just observe, blessed, happy is the one, who, the ones who are happy is related to salvation, is related to salvation. The ones who eat the bread from the kingdom, they, the ones who eat the word. So when we say this, we're not preventing evidently that the families may gather after the service, whatever it might be, or before, you can even do this. We don't drink alcohol, so there's no problem. We can do it before or after. Before midnight. The difference here is eating the bread of life and bread from, from bakery. The bread from bakery I ate, ate this morning. Something that I love is eating bread. But the bread of life, do not mix it up. If you want a, a strong church, we're going to have a dinner. No, don't do this. If you want to offer a, a dinner, call the poor there on the streets. Then you can do this. You see how many Christians are going to stay there with the, the poor people with uh, dirty, uh, smelly clothing. You see. Everyone, they, they have a different reality. We, we cannot speak about what we are not and what we are not going to do. We need to uh, do uh, things according to the Lord and we have a great responsibility well, so the message is here there were many with him at the table who were with him at the table they were, they were all there hearing the religious were there and they told blessed, happy not somebody that is eating the, this that we are eating the table was had plenty the blessing was not in there and the, the participating on the feast that the Pharisees that were enjoying. Their feast was eating their food there. But we're speaking about the kingdom, king, the word that comes from the kingdom. So the food is on the word of the kingdom. So you are going to eat. Of course you have to eat. If you have a, a good supper of the Lord, uh, a good supper of uh, New Year, you can even invite me. <laughs> so he invited men. At the time of the supper, he asked the servant to say, Come, because everything is ready. So the, everything is ready. What else do we want? Amen. Peace of the Lord. What our wish, happiness, and I want to thank once again for all the ones who participated with us. I remember and make reference, reference here, especially to a group of brethren from Paraná. Region Londrin, region of Londrina, Maringá, also Belo Horizonte and Pampulha. In fact, we're going to have a message, amazing message, that comes from Pampulha on the first. So the bread, do not forget to be in prayer during this time. You don't need to be. We pray for our needs for the end of the year to thank the Lord for the new year that is coming. And our desire is that the Lord bless everyone in the new year, 
and a new year for the glory of the Lord. Amen. Peace to the Lord. Has have a song. I'm gonna hear the tune. Jesus, we're going to stand up. We're going to board the glorification of the Lord. I want to praise the Lord because we come to your presence, Lord. For your name, because the Holy Spirit brought us to your house. We thank you, Lord, for your word. They spoke to our hearts. Lord, we know of the importance of the Sunday school for our lives, for our children. That's why we praise you, Lord, because every day you have spoken to our hearts, you have helped us to come to your house, and you have caused your, our, your word to enter into the heart of our children. We thank you for the year that has come to an end, and, and because you helped us to this day, and great deeds you have done in our life this year. I'm going to praise you for everything in the name of Jesus. The children may kneel down, children intermediary in the lessons. I want to praise for the precious grace of the Lord Jesus. Lesson children intermediary in the lessons. Bless their homes. Pray in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Lord God, give us a day in your presence and that we may be inviting 
that have been being a target of our prayers for the service tonight and that you may honor our invitations Lord and that your spirit may touch on the hearts of our guests and that here they may receive a blessing from the part of the Lord and that there may be salvation in the service tonight the visitation of the Holy Spirit receive our service and as a prayer that we say in the name of Jesus in your name we say the wonderful grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ the love of God our eternal Father the sweet and tender consolations of the Holy Spirit you pour out upon all of us now and forevermore Amen <coughs> the church may be seated any announcement we are going to have a rehearsal no rehearsal my brethren peace of the Lord <laughs>